do. He responded 38 saves, stopped 38 of 39 after he allowed those 12 goals in the previous two games. What kind of adjustments did you see him make? Uh, I saw him be more aggressive. Uh, you saw him out at the top of the game. It makes it sort of impossible to predict. So, of course, yep. I'm going to ask you who's going to win game five tomorrow in New York. Loss didn't end it for the Rangers last night, but it yep. certainly felt that way. If they didn't win the yeah. game, this was this it, was, it all was over. over. It was and over. Now, and now we're all evened up. That's Barry Melrose with us this morning. Thanks, sir. Sports Center. Henrik bounces back. It certainly wasn't for a lack of attempts on the Lightning's nope. offense because they outshot the Rangers 19 to 6 in the second period alone. They outshot them for the game. So how realistic is it for Henrik to do what he did last night when this team is just putting shots on the net? That's why you factor saves in the first period before we get going. Yeah, you look at the score, it just looks like a, a blowout. But if you watch the game, <laughs> it wasn't I mean, a blowout. The, the lightning. It could have been a blowout, but for Tampa Bay. Yeah, Rick Nash and Martin Sully, so you were talking about them combined for three goals after only scoring two in the previous 15 playoff games for them. How dangerous is this Rangers team if they can find tomorrow at Madison Square Garden? Rangers win last night broke that 5 1 win, broke yep. a streak of 12 straight postseason wins by a single goal. It's like the first time they allowed Rangers fans to like breathe easy. Yeah, well, the uh, Ranger fans don't breathe easy. You know that. <laughs> the, well, minute, the minute the game's over, they're thinking about the next game. <laughs> well, listen, they, they gave them a break, and now wait till yep. game five. Barry Melrose with us here on Sports Center. Game three, we welcome Mary Melrose. Barry, Mary, Mary Melrose. Melrose. <laughs> Mary Melrose. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just make not top 10? Yeah, I think Mary? so. I think you should, anyways. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Blackhawks have been uh, word limited to just one goal. It was, a, it was an amazing yep. goal. It only counts for one. It was Patrick Kane uh, put that in. What adjustments does Chicago's offense have to make tonight? Well, a couple things. In some ways, this has mirrored the Eastern Conference Finals because the Lightning blew out the Rangers yep. at their place, and then the Rangers returned the favor at the Lightning's place last night. Chicago gives the Ducks a heartbreaker in Anaheim, then Anaheim comes back to Chicago and gives them their first home uh, postseason loss. So uh, it, everything seems to be all over the yep. place. And that being said, who do you think is winning this game tonight? You know what? Just say something. If I make not top 10, I would like to make it with you, Mary Belrose. Thank you very much. Mary Belrose. We're a, wa we're a Salsh. <laughs> it's easier to do it on you. Yeah, yeah, your name's Mary Belrose <laughs> is a lot easier than we're a Salsh. Matt.